How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Guys, I apologize for the lack of content on the channel as of recent. You guys know I've been elsewhere preparing and doing uh, this other project for a while now. I did a video a while back um, to the worst infomercials ever, if you remember that. It wasn't too long ago that I did it. And you guys wanted a second one. So here I am. I am back doing another worst infomercial product reaction. Nothing really more to say, really, is there? So watch the video! Be covered after being wet, but your towel just won't let. Robes are heavy and hot, and towels with fasteners? I think not. It's really like the worst actors. They're like, we want to sell our product. Let's not use good actors. Let's hire the worst. Linda! Hire, hire me some worst actors ever to sell my merch! Now there's the wearable towel. The towel with arm openings. The wearable towel keeps you totally covered and gives you the freedom to use your hands. Great for getting the paper. Oh my god. <laughs> Great for getting the paper. You know, it's just not that glamorous. That is a nice clear day. Not only that, he, he looks good. He looks in good shape. Now if I went out onto my lawn and got my morning paper, guarantee I wouldn't look as good as that. And also the wind would blow it up and you'd see all sorts of shit you don't really want to see. It, d it just doesn't look... Safe as well. You know when you got your towel on you and some towels don't go all the way around you well, Don't go all the way around me me being plump and it's got that gap there You know you got you got to figure out where you're gonna put the gap on your body Do I show a little bit of dick a little bit of ass cheek like what's what's the worst part I could show? <laughs> to wear before a swim and perfect to wear with it looks like a Tarzan convention. Where are they living? Look at this barbecue they're so rich, they could just spend it on chicken and bath towels. <laughs> Friends, it's ultra absorbent. Wait, what? Where did she pull that baby out of? Did she pull it out the sink? It's Oh, yeah. Yeah, so rich, they live in literally this mansion, but they bath their baby in the kitchen sink. Don't you have a bathroom or something or a bath? Puts a lot of thought into herself, but her baby gets washed the same as the dishes. It's ultra absorbent. First class in quality and comes in red, white. Oh my god. <laughs> you know when you see like a really cheap sci-fi movie and like you see the fashion of the future? That's that. <laughs> that is that right there. And in a toka style. So we can all look like Greek gods. I love it. I want one. All right, so that was the wearable towel. I need more. I need more. Does the shoulder strap of your car cut into your shoulder? No. Cut into my shoulder. No, because it's not made of razor blades. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? Introducing the titty bear. I'm sorry, what? The titty bear. Or t oh, titty bear. Okay, I thought it was a titty bear. <laughs> the cute little guy that eliminates all those problems. And looks like a massive pervert. He's just burying his head in there, isn't he? Why do I suddenly want to be this teddy? Titty bear snaps onto your shoulder strap and moves up and down to remove the pressure wherever you need it. Why a bear, though? Why a creepy-ass boob-hugging bear? My shoulder strap used to pull so tight, I could hardly breathe. All right, love. Okay. I could hardly breathe. That's a little bit dramatic, don't you think? I could literally not breathe. I was blowing in the face until I put a bear on my tits. <laughs> the teddy bear stays where you want it until you move it. My wife used to always complain about the pressure from her shoulder belt. Not anymore. And the titty bear worked so great, he got one for himself too. I really think they called it the titty bear because it sounds so much like titty. It's just making fun of everyone. I really, I think the inventor invented this as a joke to make everyone look insane. <laughs> Place it here, or here, or anywhere you need to keep those irritating straps. So basically two positions, okay. <laughs> Place it here, or here, or anywhere that, like, there's only, there's only two places it could go, my friends. <laughs> Take the work out of your workout. The what is that? A chair that blends you? The Hawaii chair. What is that? The f it's spinning. How do you sit on it? You know, Tamra, the Hawaii chair wasn't designed just for home. You know, Tamra, you look like an idiot. <laughs> what does that do? How can? Is it like a workout chair? What is it? What is it? After all, for some of us, at least 40 hours of our week is spent sitting behind a desk at the office. So 
This is not real. This isn't real. So to see what office workers think of the Hawaii chair, we sent Aaron Lee to work. She's got her hand up. Like no one's listening to her. She's like, excuse me. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron Lee with Perfect USA. And today we <laughs> Hawaii chair to a very busy work environment. Oh yes, yeah, very busy work environment. He's holding a notepad and he's looking at you do doing the hula in your chair. She looks so scared, bless her. <laughs> Let's get some first time reactions. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> no, it's not. How are you supposed to type when you're doing that? <laughs> Feels great on my abs. So glad he said abs. Jesus. You can really feel this working. Hawaiian chair while answering phones, using the computer, balancing books, or a balance yourself on this chair. I don't understand what it's what it's for. That can't possibly be a workout. You just look like a moron. Imagine like trying to fire someone who works in your office building. Imagine trying to fire them and they're sitting there like that. I'm sorry, Daz, but after much consideration, we 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 gotta let you go. Well, that's a shame. I was just starting to like this job. <laughs> you can hardly call this work. With the Hawaii chair, it takes the work out of your work day. It just makes life harder. The amount of times I've slopped tea on my keyboard and shit, that's guaranteeing it. Oh my god, I just had the best idea. Okay, I'm gonna reach out to Hawaiian chair to get him get me a chair, okay? And I will do a Daz Watches. I'll, I'll make a video, and throughout the whole video, I'll have to sit in one of those chairs. Oh, it's done. It's done. Well, how does this mask do that? Well, if you can get the idea of what doing eight seconds... God, he looks like a serial killer, doesn't he? His suit is made from young children. You have an idea of what Rejuvenic would do for your face. Because in essence, Rejuvenic does for the face what exercise does for the body. All right. I know it's Halloween, but Jesus. What is that? You two could look like a Caucasian Darth Vader. <laughs> The way it does that is there's a control unit that during a facial session Jesus tap dancing Christ Imagine walking in your wife's like that! Hold on, I've got something similar Hey honey, I'm HA! What? What's the matter? I'm rejuvenating <laughs> I actually have no idea where I got that, that's kind of scary During a facial toning session, the system delivers a mild impulse generated by a tiny 9 volt battery from the control unit These impulses. Oh my god You ever seen- the man in the iron mask. Definitely inspired. That's like something out of Saw. And actually activate the face and skin to exercise, tighten, and tone through each of the 12 facial zones. These impulses start in the forehead. Oh my god, she's she's learning kung fu. Says a total of four times during your 15 minute facial workout. The result is not only a more toned, youthful looking face, but also a face that looks and feels fresher. They've used, like, the youngest women they can. Put that shit on the queen! I'm Brian Collins, thanking you for purchasing the Flowbee. Proper suction is the key to getting great looking haircuts with no cleanup. Alright, I'm interested. I'm not interested. <laughs> what is that? He's hoovering his head! He's just attached clippers to a hoover. Look, even the, even the hairstylist is like, how is this the future? I don't know why I thought he spoke like that. I just think he does. <laughs> Gary, what other kinds of haircuts can you do with the Floby? Just bounce it all over your head. One that I especially like and... Uh... Was that a sound error? Where did that come from? Floby. Just bounce it all over your head. One that I especially like and... Uh... Just bounce it all over your head. Where did that come from? Who said that? <laughs> a, a lot of kids like trendier haircuts. They like it very short here mm -hmm. and then long. Right. Or any variation on that. Can they do that with this? Yeah, same principle. Uh, the only difference... I pretty much have that kind of trendy haircut. <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> I pretty much have that trendy haircut. <laughs> Look like your mum does it for you! Gary, it seems like with the Flowbee, you can do any kind of a cut imaginable. And of course, with kids these days, we're talking about any kind of a cut imaginable. Absolutely. That's one of the great things about the Flowbee is that you can tell that none of them believe in the product. You can tell that they both know that this is shit. They're just getting paid. <laughs> just getting paid. Experiment. You can create. God, kids are willing to do that these days. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. 
so awkward and cringy at the same time. It was like an awkward and cringe sandwich. Personally, like to use a wedge cut. I never look as if I need a haircut. No, you look like you went and had one and the guy was on ecstasy. Look at the haircut! That looks awful. <laughs> this is not real. Oh my God. And I never look as if I just got one. Yes, you do. First thing I'd say to you is Nan. Who cut your hair? And it's trimming her bangs just like she wants it. And you, it's a bouncy motion that I go up and down. And her hair is perfect and it feathers the bangs so nice. It's as simple as that. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> now your hair can look like a pack of noodles. <laughs> I, I, I give up with the world. Why, these are all old inventions, aren't they? I miss the old crazy inventors. Drank a lot of water. I really have to go. People are waiting to tee off, and there's no restroom out here. Why is the voice inside his head inside a water tank? How many times has this happened to you? Come on, you know you can't hold it in that long. Don't worry, I've got the perfect gift for you. Introducing the Euro Club. The discreet sanitary solution for your urgent relief. Created by a board-certified urologist, it looks like an ordinary golf club, but it contains a special reservoir built into the grip to relieve yourself. The Euro Club comes with this. No, no, it's not. This is not. This isn't real. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to Google this. Euro Club. This is not real. It's real. It's real. You can buy one. I. C I can't believe it. I can buy one right now for $24. A golf club you piss in. And excuse me, it's 2018. Where's the woman's one? Hmm? Huh? How are they going to piss in it? A special towel to keep your privacy. And it Oh yeah, that, that, that looks private. No one can tell what he's doing at all. Blatantly peeing into a pipe. Blatantly. It appears to everyone that you're just checking out your club. At first it seems common. Yeah. Oh, look. Granddad's checking out his golf club again. Totally looks like what that is. What if someone goes to the caddy and takes it out and thinks, oh, this looks interesting. I'll try, I'll try teeing off with this. Chink, piss everywhere. <laughs> but believe me, when you really have to go, it's a lifesaver. Sanitary, leak-proof, easy to clean, and no more embarrassing moments in the bush. Yeah, I'm gonna just go out on a whim here and say that is less embarrassing than pissing into a golf set. Dramatically improve your golf scores for only $49.95. And when you order now, get a second Euro Club for half price. Why would you need two? Why would you need two? I don't, you're gonna fill that one up? It, do old men really go that much? That's two for only $74.92. That's how much I'll have to pay bail to get out of prison for indecent exposure on a golf course. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that was more bad infomercial products. Like, love, caress my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>